There are homes in the Denver area that have gone from $250,000 to $450,000 in just 10 years. Well, now investigator Jace Larson shows you how much homes near you are valued and what you have to do to score an affordable home. Okay, let's go. I'm very excited, yeah, it's awesome. This is the house that Diane White has dreamed about. I just can't believe it's going to be mine in a day. A remodeled 1880s home in Five Points. And just like many homeowners, she's nervous about what she's having to pay. And I felt like I was taking a leap of faith that I'm going to be able to make my mortgage payment in 1994 as a single woman. Today, I'm thinking, wow, it's still my largest payment. In today's hot housing market, she has learned a few things. If you find something that you like, you better move fast or it's going to be gone. Everything will be right at your fingertips. Love it. Her realtor, Michael Madsen of Nostalgic Homes, helped her make an offer within 24 hours. Our market is being driven right now by the lack of inventory. Demand is driving prices up. Here in the Baker neighborhood, homes 10 years ago were averaging $257,000. Now they're up to 450000 it's much the same story here in the Highlands, where homes used to sell for $312,000. Now they're selling for $631,000. Here in Sunnyside, we've seen the prices go from an average of $234 to $454. And take a look at this. We all know that Wash Park is the place to be, right? But wow, 10 years ago, homes averaged $519,000. Today, $1.2 million. And it's not just in Denver. Boulder County went up 44%, Jefferson County 46, 52 in Broomfield, and Adams County went up 67%. There has been less of an increase, but prices have still spiked in Arapahoe and Douglas counties. Right now, we're at about 4,000 listings. We typically see 13,500 listings this time of the year. The head of the Realtors Trends Committee in Denver says it's not all bad news. What neighborhoods are affordable right now? North Aurora, Westminster, even South Aurora, uh, as far as Adams County and Arapahoe County. In those areas, you can still find a $250,000 home. You're typically looking at two to three bedrooms, two to three bathrooms, one or two car garage, but it's gonna be an older property. If you wanna be 10 or 15 minutes from the city like this home in Regis, expect to spend nearly $400,000. Here is the guest bathroom. Some people are gonna say $400,000 for my first home, that's really expensive. Right now, anything under half a million dollars would be a first time home buyer price point in Denver. Do we need to be worried that we're gonna have a real estate bubble that's going to pop in the next few years? No. Uh, none, of the, none of the things that we've been tracking indicate any type of bu housing bubble. That means if you're looking to build equity and start your own dream, it is not too late. It's great. It's why Diane says she made the right decision. Owning a home was the only way that I could think of to build a future for myself and my son and his college. So expensive. Realtors told me a few secrets. The home buyers who get what they want have to be ready to leave work at a moment's notice to see a house. <laughs> and then when they find something, they have to be ready to make an offer immediately. They beat out people who take some time to think <laughs> about it. I've been there. Crazy. And it's not uncommon for, uh, for people to write notes, personal notes to sellers to try to get the house. That's exactly I've right. That. Did it work? No. Well, <laughs> Sometimes it does. And here's something else that people are doing that I found fascinating. They're also writing um, notes, as you mentioned, but also making actual videos, and they're sending them to the people there. Wow. It's just a, a very interesting thing. Let me tell you one other thing that sometimes works. You can write what is called an escalation clause. That's where you agree to pay one, two, or three thousand huh. dollars more than anyone else who makes a better offer than mm. yours. It's just cutthroat yeah, out there. It's crazy out there. Thank you for that. Tonight. Interesting Chase stuff. Larson, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Chase.